Since the beginning of time, Pokemon has added unique ideas into their mainline games, but lately, all their battle gimmicks suck except for one called Mega Evolution! Ever since we jumped into the realm of 3D, Pokemon has begun to get a little spicy with their games. Each title they release has had interesting and unique ideas implemented into their games to make them stand out from their 2D predecessors. Pokemon Sun and Moon added Terrastalization, Legends RCs had Dynamaxing, and Pokemon Sword and Shield forgot to be a good video game. But one stood above them all and was declared by fans as the greatest thing to ever be created. But sadly, it was taken away from us as soon as it was given. And it was called... The Poketched! Man, this thing was cool! You can tell when your friends were online with one click of a button, you can battle and trade with them. It was so amazing! Oh yeah, and MEGA EVOLUTION! After 15 years, we're finally going back to Kalos and with it, Megas are coming back! So happy! Kiss my tushy VGC players because the greatest Pokemon mechanic in Pokemon history is finally making its return. I don't care that Mega Kangaskhan stole your girlfriend and then beat you up and took all your money because Mega Evolution is the closest thing to perfection that Pokemon has made in the last few years. I feel aggressively violent right now for no reason. Mega Evolution is the final form of all your favorite Pokemon. It is a transformation that breaks your Pokemon's bones into pieces and more Holds them into the perfect version of themselves. And for example, Mega Glalie needs to break open its jaw just to be able to Mega Evolve. And it's fucking awesome! Over 48 Pokemon got a Mega Evolution, granting each one a fantastic power boost that those Pokemon needed. Some Pokemon got stat boosts, some Pokemon got better typing, and one Pokemon became more powerful than God himself. The choice of who would receive a Mega Evolution was completely random and was given to fan favorite Pokemon, like Charizard. And we know for a fact Charizard is gonna get another Mega Evolution called Mega Charizard Z and it's gonna be really strong but Torkoal who is a Hoenn Pokemon who deserves a Mega Evolution just doesn't get one? Really Game Freak, I'm going to fucking kill- So I didn't realize that that was a trigger for me. I'm really sorry. Mega Evolution is a polarizing topic for the fan base because there's two sides. The VGC players who do not like Mega Evolution because they were very overpowered and the filthy casuals who would burn down a village full of innocent people just to sacrifice them for the sake of getting Mega Evolution back into the mainline series. Like me! And the truth is, both sides are in the right. Megas are incredibly fun and easy to understand, and no battle gimmick has come close to the coolness factor that Mega Evolution brought to the table. But at the same time, Megas were too oppressive and needed to be fixed, but Game Freak barely nerfed them going into Generation 7. There are two fundamental reasons why Mega Evolution failed. The first reason was because they were too overpowered, and the second reason was they were too overpowered! There are over 48 Megas, each with their own unique properties, that allowed you to build a team around them and have them be the same center of focus. But sadly, a few Mega Evolutions were just too overpowered. The biggest contenders to these buffs were Charizard Y, Mega Salamence, Mega Gengar, and Mega Lopunny. Wait, I didn't know Mega Lopunny was overpowered. She isn't. Then why is she on the list? Osvid, this is an intervention. We found the Mega Lopunny stash under your bed. No, 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 no. I like human girls like Cynthia and Berta. Not bunny girls! <laughs> no, 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 no. We've also seen your search history. I searched up Mega Lopunny leaks one time! One time! All these Megas were broken in their own regard and were just incredibly unfair to play against. These Megas and a few other Pokemon forced the single player metagame and the VGC metagame to revolve slowly around a very few amount of mons rather than allow you the creative liberty to build an interesting team with all your favorite Pokemon. So Pokemon like Mega Slowpoke and Mega Audino didn't get the chance to shine because compared to the other Mega Pokemon, they were f***ing worthless! But honestly, who cares about VGC? All I care about is the single player experience. I, I, I care about VGC. The second reason why Mega Evolution failed was because of the games they were associated with. Pokemon X and Y and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire are the easiest Pokemon games in Pokemon history. Yes, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire was slightly more challenging than X and Y, but if you look at all of the trainers you fought, none of them stand a chance against Mega Evolution. And if you didn't get it by now, when I say Mega Evolution was strong, I mean imagine yourself wearing a full plate of armor, a sword in your hand, and ready to take on any opponent. And then a fat guy with 900 health points shows 
off, summons 1,369 meteorites, and just pummels you! That's what it felt like to fight against Mega Evolutions, because every single Mega Pokemon in the game, Charizard, Lucario, Lopunny, all of them were too strong for any NPC to handle, and so sadly the single player experience kinda sucked because of that. But on the other hand, Mega Evolution was the best gimmick ever added. Having your favorite Pokemon have an overpowered Mega Evolution was one of the most fun experiences I've had. But no gimmick has come close to how cool Megas were. So knowing all of this, how the hell is Game Freak going to deal with the Mega Evolution power creep? How are they gonna nerf them? Are they going to nerf them? I wonder what Mega Bertha would look like. Funny story, I don't think they're gonna be nerfing Megas because they're bringing them back in a Legends game. The Legends games are meant to challenge us as a trainer and have us take on unexpected challenges even if we were prepared. Legends Arceus is one of the most incredibly challenging games in Pokemon history, but after a few hours of playing, I felt as though I could take on any of the alphas in the game. But hear me out, what if that alpha Pokemon you were fighting halfway into the battle decides to Mega Evolve and just start pounding you? Mega Pokemon will 100% be given to the players in the middle of your playthrough, but having roided up wild Pokemon have access to Mega Evolution is going to be such a fun challenge to overcome. So Game Freak's decision to bring back Megas in Legends CA is one of the greatest choices they have ever made, and I cannot wait to see what they're cooking. Please don't burn it, please don't burn it, please don't burn it. But when we look past Legends CA and look directly into the following titles, like the Generation 10 games or the next few Legends games, the best way to keep Mega Evolution as a staple part of the series would be to completely nerf them into oblivion and constantly constantly rotate the Pokemon added to the game so most Megas that never had the chance to shine have their time in the spotlight. This would make it similar to the very beginning of the Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC era. Dexic caused the early portion of VGC to be incredibly fun because it allowed Pokemon that hadn't been used in years to have relevancy again and made team building incredibly fun. But snapping back into reality and thinking about Mega Evolution more thoroughly, I don't know if Game Freak will actually bring them back because ever since Ultra Sun Ultra Moon, they've only returned in non-competitive Pokemon games. But that's not a bad thing because this way Mega Evolution will always make a return but they'd also be in the fun Pokemon games, creating a challenge for us and making it so we see our favorite Pokemons once again. That'd be pretty nice. Thank you all for watching and Game Freak, if you're watching this, no, I'm watching you Game Freak. And if you don't give me the mega Pokemon that I really want, I will be setting a turtle on fire and shoving it so far down your throat, it will come straight out of your a- Hmm, I wonder what it was gonna say at the end. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you could like and subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. Have a wonderful day, you guys, and I'll see y'all next time. I'm gonna kill you, Game Freak.